Hi everyone, let's understand what do you mean by budget line because we require budget line to understand other concepts. So budget line means we are, it would represent the set of commodity bundles <clears throat> that can be purchased if the entire money income is spent. So budget line equation means total money, price of commodity X and price of commodity Y. And the slope of budget line should be negative. You can see on the y-axis we have taken oranges and on the x-axis we have taken mangoes. Let's say total money is rupees 100. We are talking about 100 rupees. So 100 rupees will be divided by how many units you can purchase at this point. At this point, if the price of these oranges are 10 rupees, for example. Right, 10 rupees. So we can get whatever is the 10 rupees oranges are always we are, are purchasing in terms of kg. So 10, right? So 10 kg we can purchase if 10 rupees kg. And money is, for example, mangoes 100. And mangoes are, let's say, we can say 5 rupees kg. So that would be. 20. At this point, what could be the quantity you can purchase? That could be 20 and here is 10. So 100 rupees, if suppose you want to purchase combination of both. So what you have to do, right? You have to reduce number of oranges, then only you can purchase number of mangoes. So this is your budget line. Now we come to the consumer's equilibrium. A consumer set to be in equilibrium when he has maximized his satisfaction. Means whatever money a customer is spending. Against this, customer is getting highest satisfaction that is known as consumer's equilibrium. The point of consumer equilibrium is the point where the budget line just touches a particular IC. IC means indifference curve and this is our budget line and this is the indifference curve. You can see here, this is the indifference curve. And the point where the budget line is tangent to a particular IC, this is the point of maximum satisfaction. That means this is the point of where we are touching. This IC is touching to the budget line. That means this is the point of maximum satisfaction. Means person, he is satisfied when he is purchasing these number of oranges and these number of mangoes. Means O to N, O to N mangoes and O to M oranges means a person is in that is that is reflecting consumer equilibrium. The two conditions are required for consumer equilibrium. Number one is budget line must be tangent to an IC or marginal rate of substitution of X for Y. We can say MRS XY must be equal to the price ratio of these two goods. That is known as necessary condition or we can call it first order condition for consumer equilibrium. But second condition when we talk about because this is necessary condition. Second condition that is sufficient condition. What is this? Indifference curve must be convex to the origin at the point of pendency. This condition is known as sufficient condition or second order condition for consumer equilibrium. So I hope you understand. Second order condition and first order condition. Second order condition, you can see that is convex in nature. And you can see that is convex in nature. And where it is the tangent, this is the point where consumer's equilibrium is there as well as customer is getting maximum satisfaction. Price consumption curve and price elasticity and price consumption curve, we will uh, definitely we will discuss in my next lectures income consumption curve and angel curve and income and substitution of fact all these things i'm going to cover up in my next lecture but i just want to cover up price consumption curve before closing this price consumption curve pcc shows how the changes in the price of good x will affect the consumer's purchase of x keeping the price of y the consumer's income and taste and preference constant. So means we are talking about other 
commodities price is constant. These prices are not changing. Customers' income, taste and preference, everything is constant. Only what we are finding out, changes in the price of good X. This is the good X. Mangoes, prices is only changes. So how it will affect the consumer's purchase of X means when the we are reducing mangoes price, you can see when we are reducing mangoes price on when we are increasing mangoes price, right? That is the at this point how the consumer behavior would reflect. So now you can see again these green lines are means oranges price is constant. That is not fluctuating, not changing. These are budget lines. You can see V, V, S, U, S and T, S. These all are three budget lines. Right. When the prices are more, so what would be happen? Customer could not be able to purchase much quantity. When the prices are, you can see, the prices are lower. So what would happen? The customer can purchase more commodity because budget line, there's the more scope customer can purchase more commodity. You can see here, uh, M, M1, M2, and now this is the budget line. At this point, PCC satisfaction point is here. Where is the, this ICC one is tangent. But when the prices are fluctuated, and this is the point where is customer is satisfied, consumer equilibrium is here. And when you further price is changed of these mangoes, further this is the IC3. And when we are connecting all three, all these consumer equilibrium points, highly satisfaction point, that will become PCC, price consumption curve. It will reflect behavior of the customer, how they are going to spend their money. When the price of one commodity is changing, other commodity is constant as well as the customer's income and taste and preference is also constant. So I hope we will use this PCC curve in my next videos also. I hope all these concepts are clear. Consumer equilibrium, budget line as well as PCC is clear to you. And I'm sure in the next video we will discuss some more concepts. So keep watching. Stay tuned. Thank you.